It's on track to be the saddest week of the pandemic. The U.S. had its highest number of COVID-19 deaths on Wednesday, with almost 800 people succumbing to the virus just in New York City. It's putting a serious strain on the funeral industry. The sheer volume is something that's never before been seen. Michael Linotti runs the New York State Funeral Directors Association. He says every year around 155,000 people die in the state, 425 per day. Now they're seeing 700 to 800 coronavirus deaths per day. Our average funeral home does about 100 cases or helps 100 families a year. Some of them have helped that amount in the last week. It's a very somber chain reaction because of high volume cemeteries and crematoriums are backed up. Funeral homes have nowhere to bring the deceased, and that means they can't get new bodies from the morgue. So everyone's backed up and there's just not enough time to fix it. It's a process that you want to do with dignity and respect. It just takes time. So time's against us. New York City funeral home directors are working around the clock to keep up this issue complicated more by an ongoing trend. The shortage of, uh, on our end with the funeral homes and funeral directors uh, is has been ongoing, but now it's really coming to light. Richard Sullivan has a funeral home and is the president of the New York State Funeral Directors Association. He says to address the shortage, they're trying to bring in help both from less hard hit areas in New York and from out of state. At the same time, funeral directors are risking their own health because there's not enough personal protective equipment. John Heyer of Scotto and Heyer Funeral Directors says another challenge they face is helping families grieve while adhering to social distancing rules. It's important for them to just un understand that our safety has to be first for the living. That, that's our primary concern right now. God willing, we'll get past this and we'll be able to mourn properly. Some families are cremating their loved ones, planning services for later. Others are holding small services and some are streaming services for those who can't be there. Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.